Well, hello, Stife super fans. It is so good to see you again. Are you ready for a good unboxing? Not just a regular unboxing, a good unboxing, a great unboxing. And after the success of last time, last unboxing that we did together when we opened up the large white teddy bear that seemed to really make people feel good. And there's nothing more exciting than a wonderful Stipe find, but even more so sharing the love and the find with others. So are you ready for our next adventure? This should be a tremendous amount of fun. It's a slightly different type of unboxing as far as I know. And it is so much fun and so entertaining that I brought two friends along to help with the unboxing and to give a little context to the unboxing. Let me just show them to you briefly. Two little doll friends, you see these gorgeous, well, hello, handsome, you're probably thinking, correctly so. These beautiful dolls are going to assist in our unboxing. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. I have my scissors, unlike last time. I promise to be careful, and I promise not to hurt myself or the box with these pointy objects. Here is the box, which is at my feet. It's a big box. Now it had a little damage, a little concerning. Hmm, hope everything's okay with the box, but here's the box. It's light, it's big, and we're gonna open it up. Okay, everybody ready? I'm gonna open it from the bottom. Here we go, let me find the seam, and here we go. Opening one, two, oops. It's got myself, but I didn't, don't worry his nails. Filled with peanuts. So my pugs potentially have something fun to look forward to here. All right, let me open it a little bit more. There we go. There we go. One more. Oops. One more. Okay. I think we've got it. You have bated breath as I do. I'm a little more nervous about spilling the peanuts than anything else. All right, here we go. Find it. Get it in here. I know this item isn't that big, so. That's it. I think we've got it. Okay, we got it. All righty. Put the box down carefully so I don't have to clean up 10 million peanuts. Okay. Ready? Okay, here we go. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Now, what we have here, I've just thrown away the trash. Recycled, it's paper, I recycled it. Beautiful little Stife Farmer Boy. Let me open them out of the plastic. I always tell people, send me stuff in plastic just in case gets caught in the rain and he didn't. And boy, is he just beautiful. Okay, let me show you this lovely, look at this little boy. There's so many people that love the Stife dolls. You can be a bear collector, you can be a doll collector, you can be a Stife collector, everybody loves these dolls. So this little guy is named Farmer Hans, Hans, H-A-N-S, which was my grandfather's name. So it's one of my favorite names. This little guy, is the 28 centimeter version. He's the littlest of them. Beautiful, beautiful Hans was made in this size, 28 through 75 centimeters from about 1908 through 1927. So he was made for quite a long time. And I think that's because he's so adorable. And so this is a prototypical of what a beautiful Stipe doll would have. A boy could have this, a girl could have this. This could be a gift between friends. It's just a wonderful timeless design. And he is just beautiful. He's all felt, you see, he's in his original clothing. So Hans was known for his black pants, his red vest and his white shirt and his black hat, which appears to be original, has a string on it. And a lot of Stife hats came with the string on it. And he's a beautiful blonde boy. Let's see, I'll start from the top and work down for you. So you see, he's got his beautiful center seam face and he's got black button eyes. So you see those eyes? That implies he was made towards the beginning of his production time frame, you know, 1908, 1909, 1910 or so. A little bit later than that, they started having glass pupil eyes, and that's one way to date them. So he's got his beautiful center seam, his black eyes. Let's see if he has his button. I'm looking carefully. Yes, he's got his teeny tiny long trailing X button. 
beautiful. Now you see he's got this beautiful felt vest. And what's so cool about this vest is, you know, Scythe really started out in a, the felt business, making felt animals and such. So felt is a, a legacy product for Scythe and just beautiful. And what's beautiful about this particular model that I just love is that um, occasionally, much more so at the beginning of the 20th century, Scythe would use Scythe buttons to decorate their items. So his beautiful red felt vest is decorated with one, two, three, four, five teeny tiny long trailing up buttons. Isn't that lovely? Just beautiful. He's in his white farmer shirt. It's collared. He's got suspenders. Look at that. His suspenders, which are attached to his pants, which are made out of black felt. He's got shoes and tie socks. These are very typical types of shoes that you see. And he's just lovely. He's fully jointed and a wonderful little boy. And I'm hoping now you realize where we have our special guest. So this is the 28 centimeter Hans. This is the 35 centimeter Hans. So they are big and little brothers. And you can see the wonderful and charming appearance of this beautiful doll. And the shoes, you see how they have socks and they tie and these darling hands. Just lovely. Oh, they're so happy to be together. Again, these nice brothers. And the other reason I have this special guest with us, this is another farmer. Hans is the Swabian farmer, and that is from an area in southern Germany, sort of where Steiff is located. This is another farmer. This is the, called the Dachau farmer. And in this, the 1908 through the 1920s and going on through the late 1920s, Steiff made um, a series of regional farmers. They're farmers that are throughout the Germany so they would be from different areas in Germany. And they also made farmers, I believe, that represented um, the Swiss and, and uh, French farmers. And what these farmers were dressed in their typical area outfits. And oftentimes the farmers would come with wives, which is really nice. So they would be man and women pairs of dolls. And you can see this fellow very early, probably from 1908, 1909, he also is in a red vest with stife buttons down the front and his black hat, which I guess is somewhat farmer-esque at the turn of last century in Europe. Anyway, how wonderful is this to welcome a new handsome boy to the Stife collecting world. I hope you've enjoyed his unboxing. He is quite handsome and a wonderful size. This is so easy to display um, with wonderful ease. You can put accessories with him. Imagine him with a little, a little dog or a little sheep or a pig, just adorable to pose with him. Anyway, Thank you so much for participating in our unboxing. I hope this was as much fun for you as it was for me. I love Stife dolls and I hope you do too, or at least are learning to through these wonderful examples that come up for auction or sale once in a while. All right, thank you very much. Teddy hugs for now.